run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a 10 sales in 10 minute sales update. Obviously sometimes we run a little bit over, but I'm going to try and get this fairly well executed today and get it in at around the 10 or 11 minutes if I can. So this is also going to be an ascending price order sales update. And what I mean by that is the first sale you, you can see on screen right now is going to be the lowest value sale you will see today on today's video. Uh, and then the last sale you will see will be the highest value sale you will see on this video. So with that being said, let's get on with this lowest value sale here, which is this Disney Winnie the Pooh children's hooded poncho. This was brand new and sealed. I actually sent a load of offers to watchers for I think 10% of a, you know, a reduction of 10%. And uh, so this was actually sold for £8.96, I believe, not £9.95. Obviously, the way I show my sales, for some reason, it always shows the buy it now price and it never shows the, the actual offer price that was accepted. But yeah, this sold for £8.96. I was getting a load of these for free off one of my dad's friends. He was previously a reseller. He mainly sold wholesale stuff and he had a load of stock that he just wanted rid of. And he offered them to me for free, didn't want to accept any more money for them. I obviously offered some money to him, he didn't want to accept it. So I was really, really grateful to get a lot of stock, a lot of brand new and sealed stock for free. Um, and so £8.96, obviously after postage and fees, that's just pure profit. So yeah, can't really complain at that, even though it's a fairly low value sale, and it's even below the £10 I like to be at. Um, still, you know, you can't complain when you're getting something for free. So yeah, that was that one. Next, we've got this vintage wayware ceramic large uh, sea jug, like with animals and whales and all the rest of it on it. Really nice little jug, this. Obviously a very, very bread and butter item. Wayware isn't particularly brilliant at all, um, but I, I I don't know why but I have a little bit of a soft spot for it and I always seem to have to pick it up when I see it so long as it's at a decent price and stuff I'm not as attached to it as I am fat lava but when I see it I do I do smile and I think oh you know like if, if it's at a decent price I'll pick it up but yeah so you see their way where now, a lot of this wayware stuff is between 10 and £15 pound plus your postage. You see here, this sort of water jug, uh, 12 99 plus my postage on it. I paid three quid from the charity shop. So, yeah, can't really complain on that one. Just a nice little bread and butter item. And, yeah, as I said, I just like seeing it when, uh, when I see it. And, obviously, if I can pick it up for a bit of profit... Then, uh, then I will do. So next, we've got this TP-Link USB adapter, uh, wireless dual, dual band thing here. Uh, brand new and sealed, as you can see in the photo there. Uh, £24.99 plus my postage on this. I either paid a pound or two pound, a very, very recent car boot. I did show it on a haul video. I think it was in the live mini car boot haul that I did not so long ago. And I will have said how much I paid there, but it was either a pound or two. So one pound, even if it's two pound, two pound into £24.99 plus my postage went probably within two weeks can't really complain. Nice little turnaround on that. And as I say, £2 into 25 quid. Great little margin. So next we've got this watercolour here. This little landscape watercolour. Or this, this kind of uh, landscape of a house, I suppose. Uh, Castle Court, Corf, uh, Corf Mullen. Uh, framed watercolour, twenty four ninety nine plus my postage on this. A lot of watercolours, you know, I get these in job lots. I don't pay a lot for them. Maybe a couple of quid, literally about two or three pound each watercolour, not a lot. Um, and I just whack them on at any old price, really. Some of them, if I think they're not very good, I'll maybe whack them on at fourteen ninety nine or nineteen ninety nine. You know, if they're really not good, but that that's. Quite unusual. Normally, I'll do between 20 and 30 for watercolours. But, you know, if I feel like they're not brilliant, then I'll whack them on for less than that. But, yeah, this one I just whacked on at 24 99 plus my postage. And, yeah, it went within... Um I don't know, it was probably about a week or so, so it's a very good turnaround, you know, it was a decent turnaround. I may have been able to get more if I held out for a better price, but to be honest, I'd rather just get a quick turnaround at the moment on stuff. And with this costing me so little, I'm not really that bothered anyway, so yeah, 24 99 plus my postage, happy with that little sale there. As I say, for maybe 2 or £3 invested, so again, really, really decent profit on that. Next, we've got these Franklin Mint Teddy Bear Limited Edition Collector's Plates. Now, I have to admit, I don't remember 
remember what these cost me at all because it was so long ago. Uh, it was at a different auction house. It's maybe over a year ago now. So these have taken a very long time to sell. I think it did take me a, a little while to list them. I don't think I listed them straight away. But essentially, I did get these in a job lot and I think I paid around 20 quid or something like that for the job lot. But I don't know. I think I might have sold other stuff from the job lot and I might be in profit on the job lot. But I'm, I'm not 100% sure because it was so long ago. The chances are I'm already in profit on this job lot. And therefore, this is just sort of pure profit after posting fees. Um, so it should be all right anyway. But it's just been so long and I've had these on for so long. I cannot remember um, sort of individual prices and stuff for these. So 26 96 on these. Obviously, that'll have been in a sale or maybe I've accepted a... 10% offer or something, or obviously when I sent the offers out, uh, they've accepted the 10% reduction. Um, so yeah, 26.96 plus my postage with Hermes, and as you can see, I've got 5.99 Hermes postage on that, so you can tell it's an older listing because now I do 6.49. Um, and yeah, they're just these kind of bears collectors plates. Um, they're not really very valuable. These there might be the odd one you get that might be you know, worth selling individually, but a lot of these aren't really incredibly valuable. But yeah, you can see 10 of them here for 26 96 plus my postage, so nice little uh, sale there, obviously. Next, we've got another couple of watercolours that I put on quite recently, which are these vintage small framed pair of landscape watercolours. Now, these are pretty small watercolours, um, but they are really nice, you know, they're quite nice watercolours. In fact, I'm a bit, I'm regretting this a bit, because I've actually got a, a space on my wall now, where my TV used to be, and I'm thinking, God, they would have gone lovely there, actually, they're a perfect size for that little little section of wall, I'm thinking, I would have loved them, but anyway, I sold them now, um, and again, I think these went for 26 99 not 29 99 plus my Hermes shipping, of course, uh, and yeah, nice little watercolours, happy with the turnaround time, pretty quick turnaround time again, and again, maybe I'd be in these two for five quid, six quid, something like that, so can't complain there, nice little bit of profit, but yeah, I really do, I am really getting into selling paintings, I don't know what I'm doing with them, don't get me wrong, I haven't a clue what I'm doing, really, with pricing or anything, I just go randomly, but I just like selling them, I just think they're cool, so if I can get my hands on some more paintings, and the other thing with paintings, right, you know I'm all, all about, I'm very lazy and I'm all about just doing things that are easy, selling things that are easy, you don't have to do anything with paintings, you literally just have to whack them on your photo area, no testing, no prepping, no anything, it just, it's great, you just whack them on your photo area and do some photos, and they always go for decent money, you won't find many paintings that will go for less than like 15 quid, most paintings, you know, are going to be that 20 to 30 pound range, possibly even a lot more as well, uh, you know, obviously there's going to be paintings out there that are hundreds of pounds as well, so, you know, I like that, I like that fact, you know, anyway, next we've got this Vintage Royal Dalton Ceramic Pattern D4031 Persian Parrot Birds Vase, really, really cool, it's quite a nice looking item, this, got a lovely funky shape to it as well, really, really cool, you can see on the bottom here, we've got Royal Dalton. Now, again, I can't remember what job lot this will have come in, but I, I sold it here for $29.99 plus my postage. I would very uh, comfortably say that that probably covers the entire job lot it came in anyway, because most things that I get from auction, I pay 20 quid plus commission for, 15 quid plus commission for, for an entire job lot. So I would imagine that, that actually covers the entire job lot it came in anyway. But more than likely, I've probably sold other items from the same job lot it came in. So it might be that this is actually pure profit after postage and fees. So yeah, really nice looking item this. Took a little while to go. But you know, on these kind of items, you expect that a little bit. You expect someone to come along and maybe have a look at it and think, yeah, I'll, I'll buy that. You know, but it's, it's about kind of the right person coming along and thinking and, and taking a look at that piece and thinking, yeah, I like that. So uh, yeah, $29.99 on that. Can't really complain. Nice little sale there. Next, we've got this Vintage Walker & Hall Silver Plate A1 Large Fruit Serving Cut Flowers Bowl. Again, this will come in a silver plate job lot. The cost to me, if I'm not already in, in profit on the job lot, which I would assume I am again, but um, yeah, the individual cost on something like this, 
probably two or three quid from a, a larger job lot. Because I'd say if I'm getting a job lot of silver plate for 20 quid plus commission, so what, like 23, 24 quid all in, something like that. And let's say the ten, there's 10 pieces in that job lot, which to be honest, there's usually more than that. Then I'm coming in at around £2.40 individual cost. So that's why I say, you know, it's not going to cost me a lot. And the chances are I've probably sold other items from a job lot before this one. So I'm probably in pure profit anyway after postage and fees. So yeah, $29.99 plus postage on that one. Nice little sale there. Obviously the name makes it Walker and Hall. For something like this, you wouldn't get $29.99. If you didn't have that name on there, you'd probably be getting... I don't know how big is that, 22, so yeah, you're probably getting like 15 to 20 if you didn't have the name, but then Walker and Hall, you end up charging a bit more and people see the name and they think, yeah, I'll buy that for, for that price, you know, it just expands the price a little bit, you know, the price that you can charge, so yeah, that's that one anyway. So next, something I've had for a very long time actually, it came to me, uh, oh my god, was it last year, was it 2018 I got this, I don't know, it's a very long time ago anyway, now I'm in profit. I am well, well, well into profit on the job lot this came in. My god, off those African figures that I got, carved figures, I made a ton. I made a ton of money on them. I paid basically for two job lots of African figures ages ago. And you will have seen this and you will know this if you've been with the channel for a long time. But I got a big haul of uh, auction stuff and there was two job lots in there that were African carved figures. And I got about 45 or 50 African carved figures for about 45 quid. So basically like a pound each. And uh, they were all going for between 10 and 15 pound. And then there was some higher value, one, well, slightly higher value ones like this one. But we're maybe going for 20 to maybe 30 or possibly 35 or 40. Um, so, yeah, I made a really good amount of money on that job lot. Um, literally, I only needed to sell about four or five, maybe six of the figures. And I was in profit. So it was absolutely brilliant. So this is probably one of the final things to go from that job lot now. Obviously, I've sold so many of the figures over, over the past few months. Uh, and yeah, I got 35 quid for this. I originally had it up for maybe 40 or 45, um, but then I had to come down, come down. And I've had a little, I have had a lot of interest in this item, but no one's picked it off for the price I wanted. I've had a lot of offers on this item for coming in at around, well, I've had a few lowball offers for like 10, 15 quid, but then I've had a couple of offers for around maybe 20, 25, and I've been hesitant. I've been thinking, well, should I accept it, shouldn't I? But you can see now it's been picked off for 35, so I've got managed to get an extra tenner out of it, so that's pretty cool. You can tell again, it's an old listing because I've got five ninety nine on it there. So yeah, that's that one there. I think I've got a me yeah, I've got a measurement. So you can see here it's what 34, 35 centimeters tall. So a fair size, and it's very, very heavy. This one as well. Actually, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have some trouble packing it. Well, I wouldn't have too much trouble packaging it up, but I'm gonna have to make sure I wrap it well. Because this is very, very heavy. Uh, I don't want it getting damaged or anything or, or anything like that. So that's that one. Next, we've got something that a lot of you will have seen in one of the whole videos. Not too long ago, a few months ago maybe. Uh, this is Vintage Studio Pottery Pru Green Glazed Colourful Bold uh, Church Street Gallery. I didn't get 50 quid in the end for this. I accepted an offer of 40. But I've had it on for a while. And I just wanted it out at this point. I paid £3 for this in a charity shop. I picked it up and I thought, oh, that, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know whether it'd be, you know, I'm not going to say I, I knew it was something incredibly special, but I knew that it was something. I knew there was some value in it. And uh, yeah, I basically did a whole video. Some people were telling me a little bit about it and stuff on, in the comments and said that, you know, you've done quite well there. And uh, yeah, £3 into 40 quid plus my postage. Can't complain with that one. Really, really lovely studio pottery bowl, this one, as you can see. Uh, lovely funky designs, kind of eccentric designs as well. Uh, and you can see Prue, Prue Green on the bottom there. I couldn't actually read that. Someone actually told me, I I'd said in the whole video, what does that name say there? I don't know why, because now I can actually look at that inscription and I can see Prue Green really really clearly but I was looking at it for ages and it was all just squiggles to me and then people in the comment section said oh that's blue green that's blue green and I'm like oh yeah now I can really see it why couldn't I see that it's, it's odd it's odd how the brain works isn't it how how you look at something and your brain can't distinguish it but then someone tells you something about it or point something out uh, about an item and then your brain starts distinguishing it it's odd how that happens but yeah 40 quid plus my posting on that one and then finally a sale that you never thought you would see me make on this channel. 
A sale that just shows my awesome chameleon-like ability as a reseller. No, I'm only joking. Um, but yeah, vintage Smith's Westminster Chime wooden mantel clock. It is a bit of a different sale for me. I don't normally do clocks. I picked this up for 15 quid in a charity shop and I had it in my pile of shame or a death pile or whatever you want to call it for a very, very long time. And then, um, obviously, my granddad, uh, or one of my granddads, deals with clocks. He uh, he loves clocks. He's always loved repairing clocks and all the rest of it. So I take it to my granddad, and he does what he can with it. He, he, he does it up, and he makes it... I, I don't know whether it was work. I think it might have been working or I'm not sure there might have been something some issue with it but anyway he sorted it out for me uh, he told me a little bit of information about it and stuff um, and then obviously he um, he pointed out the fact that you're obviously going to need to mention the wear on the case and all that like I, I knew I would um, and yeah so I did a load of pictures of it it's got its key with it you can see it down there um, and yeah it's a nice little clock this 49.99 plus my postage on it really really happy with that is it something, is it a niche that I would go into again and that I would pick up again? Probably not, because I just don't know enough about it. I know my gra I know I've got my granddad there for help and stuff with these kind of items, but I'm just, I'm not really that comfortable picking these up. I'd rather just, you know, stay away from them. But I'm glad that I took that kind of leap outside my comfort zone and just sort of, sort of thought to myself, oh, well, I'm going to try it. Um, but yeah, 49.99 from £15 there, plus my postage. Nice little sale there. And that is the highest value sale of today's sales update. And that is the sales update done. So thank you very much for joining me. I know I've gone way... Oh, I nearly knocked my glasses off there. I know I've gone way over the 10 minutes. It's probably like 17, 18 minutes at this point. So I do apologise. But you know what it's like. I get rambling and all the rest of it. So, with that being said, I'll leave it there. Don't forget, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. If you did like the video, then please do smash the like button down below. If you have any comments, questions, or queries about anything you've seen on today's sales update, please do get involved down in the comments section. And you can also email me. I think it's... Uh, the ads experience at gmail.com. My email is down below in the description if you want to email me any questions or queries as well. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I'll leave it there and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys. <laughs>